Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your June reading and this will be for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, firstly, thank you so much for all of your support. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up if it does resonate for you and if it doesn't fit your story, then it wasn't your reading to begin with. Um, if you are interested in the classes I'm running, the uh, personal readings or um, donations, everything is in the box underneath here. I feel that you've got a decision to make here, a very uh, important decision around your path. You may be contemplating moving in a different direction. Perhaps you're feeling the call of your life path or your, the call to move in a different direction here and you're facing a decision and it's somewhat anxiety provoking because you're not really sure at this stage which direction to go in. Okay, let's see what the cards say. Using the Connolly Tarot here. Okay, so first off you have the Emperor coming out. I feel like the Emperor is saying here that you need to take control in your life. Um, and when we say take control, we don't mean try to control the outcomes. It's about you taking your power back. Sometimes we tend to give our power to other people. We may not, you know, follow our hearts. We may become really... Um, invested in doing what's right but it may not be what's good for us and I feel like here you're starting to understand you need to take your power back here we do have the sun behind this it looks like you're dealing with a fire sign here um, the sun is the card of joy and happiness it's the card of going out and finding your joy and happiness but there's some sort of this is what I felt in the beginning there's some sort of closure that needs to be made here um, but I feel like you're moving forward on something. Oh, okay, so you are dealing with love. All righty, let's go back. You quite possibly are taking your power back in some sort of love dynamic here. I feel like you've been betrayed here. Now, you could have been betrayed by somebody you were in a relationship with. Um, but there's love here. So possibly, let me just have a look at the next of cups. I feel like someone's offering you something here that perhaps betrayed you in the past. Someone that you were with that made you extremely happy. Someone you saw yourself marrying and settling down with, but I feel there was some sort of betrayal or walking away from something here. You could be doing a bit of a twin flame thing here with somebody. Because I feel like somebody walked away here and that's where the energy I got in the beginning where you had two paths to take and you're not really sure which way to go. I feel that you saw somebody as being sort of your happy ending. Um, but somehow or another, something's just not gone quite right. Let's have a good look at this. All right. We have somebody making an offer here. We have the page of pentacles here. This is an offer, a solid offer somebody's making you. Very interesting. Okay, so we definitely have a very strong soulmate connection between two people. Something that uh, you wanted to invest in. I see you offering the pentacle. So you very much thought that this person was the right person for you. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here, followed by the Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like you've offered something to somebody and they've gone in a different direction. I feel like you wanted to have something going with this. Now, we could be talking about the past here as well. I feel like you made some sort of offer to someone who you felt was the right person for you. But I feel like somehow or another that journey was not right. This journey was not the right time. And I feel that you got, a re well, maybe you felt that they had sort of rejected you. But we're never rejected. It's just that the other person just wasn't ready for a relationship. But I see you being very hurt here and, and taking a different direction. Um, maybe... I don't know it feels very much like this twin flame energy so I'm going to keep going with it 
Um, we do have the High Priestess here, followed by the Two of Swords. That's why I said you've got a decision to make. I think this person's coming back in. I think that's where we're going with this. Yeah, there we go, Knight of Wands. Okay, so that's past energy, that first row. I feel somehow or another that somebody left you in the past that you thought with that Wheel of Fortune was your destiny. I feel like you tried to make this person an offer, but I don't think it was reciprocated. I think that they decided that it wasn't right with you for whatever reason. Maybe with this Knight of Wands, they just wanted a very quick encounter. They weren't too worried about something long term. Um, there seems to be a decision that needs to be made here around some sort of offer coming in again. But you're feeling here like it might be some more of the same thing. This is why the decision is so difficult for you. You're trying to sort of understand with your intuition whether this person is genuinely back here for you again or whether it's just a repeat of the same pattern and this going round in circles here. Okay, so we have you here ready now to either cut this person out or land them with the truth. You could be dealing with a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Okay, and we have the Queen of Wands here. So somebody's coming out on top. I have three queens sitting here. It's very possible you could be with somebody else now and have the choice of whether to go back to this person or not. I feel like you've probably either sort of made a life for yourself and you're not interested in going back into a relationship or you're already into another relationship and now you're faced with do you leave that one and go back to this person? But you're worried here with this person that they may just be in for another fling. They may not be serious again. Because you're just, this Wheel of Fortune says to me, you're going to cycle again. So this person may be round with this Knight of Wands, may be round again for another go, but they may not be serious again. And I feel like here you're either tossing up whether to move forward with them or whether to stay where you are. Um, because I feel really strongly here that you're taking a, lo a lead in your life. You're really approaching this with a very, very strong sense of intuition. Um, and I know, I, I feel here that you are really concerned that this person is just around for another physical um, interlude. I don't think you trust this energy at all. I don't think you're trusting this energy at all. We do have the Emperor here. Um, it's possible that this could be the person you're dealing with, but I'm not sure that they are ready to settle down. I feel with this, there's just this feeling that this is about just having fun. Um, you are, I think you're going to close this down. I don't think you're going to move forward. I think you've built your own stability with someone else here, and I don't think you're going to want to take this person back. Um, somebody's coming back around though and it's possible it could be a you know a soulmate or a twin flame coming back in um, and I feel that whatever happened in the past left you sort of perhaps broken hearted and a bit beaten up maybe you wanted something with this person but they just weren't ready to give it to you I'm not sure that they still are I'm not sure that this person is ready still I think they feel a very strong sense of longing for you I do think they want to be with you, but I don't think they are able to commit. They're cycling here. You could be dealing with someone who has a very, like a player type energy. Um, I have no doubt you really love this person deeply because you're considering here whether to leave your current situation, whether that's single or with another person. You're trying to work out, do you want to leave that situation to give this another go? But this person is still coming up as a knight of wands. And I feel quite strongly that you're dealing with someone, possibly a Scorpio energy here. And it's a person who I don't think is still ready for a relationship. That doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they don't want to be with you. It just means that they just don't look ready. They're not a king yet. So you have the card of the sorcerer coming out here. When the sorcerer enters your circle, you're being called to look at how your beliefs around scarcity and self-centered fear manifest in your world. Examine the destructive part of your psyche that misuses power or harbors feelings of resentment, 
vengeance, lust, greed, bigotry or hatred. Perhaps you've harmed someone because of these dark tendencies. If so, all is not lost. You have only forgotten that all beings are interconnected and the universe is abundant. The sorcerer arrives to challenge you to change your thinking. You're given a second chance. Correct your course and practice not blaming others for the darkness that lives inside you. Make peace with it and choose another way. Wow, okay. So there's something that has a deeper, a deeper meaning for you here. And I'm wondering if they're talking about going after what you desire and sacrificing what you've built because that is your desire. Whatever you choose to do here, Aquarius, you definitely have a choice that's going to create a lot of pain for you trying to decide. I think that whatever this old love is, whatever this person is, you're completely still very either infatuated or in love with them. But do you then put the put your own relationship on the line for them, especially if they're going to do the same thing and perhaps walk away again? Big decision for the month of June. Thank you.